Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. A lot happened today in the country. Earlier in the day, former Nandi Hills member of parliament Alfred Gater was abducted, but then later released. Ruto attended a church function in Narok, where he was badly heckled and chased away. In Nandi Hills, upon Nandi Hills residents realizing that Alfred Gater had been abducted, they took to the streets demanding for his release and he was eventually released. In the CBD Nairobi, Gen Z's made good their threat and stormed the city, went all the way to Uhuru Park and Jivaji Gardens where they lit candles in memory of their departed colleagues. It has been a very busy day. I want us to dig deep into all this for Kenyans to understand what's happening here. And even before we dig deep into that, Gen Z's are promising that come Tuesday, they will be on the streets again, holding their peaceful demonstrations. Let's put all this into perspective. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, Subscribe, give the video a like. Let's proceed. Let's start with Gen Z storming the CBD and going all the way to light candles at Uhuru Park and Jivaji Gardens. That means they are not yet convinced when William Ruto says he wants to dialogue with them. They don't trust Ruto. They see him as a liar. That's why they stormed the city and they are still promising that come Tuesday they will hold massive demonstrations across the country. And the truth be said, the William Ruto I know should not be taken seriously. These dialogues William Ruto is calling for, while at the same time we are seeing government agents kidnapping Kenyans, that proves William Ruto is not serious. He just wants to buy time so that all these protests can die their own natural deaths. So he's just there to take Kenyans as fools as he buys time for these demonstrations to turn down. That's something coming out very clearly. And also on the Gen Z demonstrations, Kenyans are tired and fed up of Ruto. It shows very clearly that there is a disconnect between Ruto and the youths. The youths are demanding for Ruto to go. Ruto is calling for dialogue. I don't think Ruto and his team will agree with the Gen Z's. They are reading from different pages. Finance Bill 2024 was not the problem per se for the Gen Z's, but they were protesting against how Ruto has managed the economy and on how he has run the government in the under two years. Finance Bill 2024 was just a trigger to the demonstrations. What William Ruto should do is to listen very carefully to what the youths are saying. They are not just happy on how William Ruto has run his government in the under two years. Finance Bill 2024 was just a trigger to the demonstrations. That's one thing William Ruto should understand. And now it's time other Kenyans should also join in these demonstrations. I believe this is now the time for Kenyans to speak directly to William Ruto because that's the only way William Ruto will listen to Kenyans. The elected leaders are no longer representing the interests of those who elected them. So Kenyans should exercise their rights by speaking directly to Ruto. Their elected representatives have already been compromised. And to the arrest of Alfred Keter, that confirms that William Ruto 
is not listening at all. The courts have pronounced themselves on these illegal kidnappings, but we are still seeing them going on. And those who are being targeted are these leaders who are critical of Ruto's government. So I'm seeing a very clear pattern where William Ruto wants to silence these top leaders. When he will have succeeded in silencing the leaders, then Kenyans will have nobody to speak for them. That's William Ruto's game plan. And the moment Kenyans don't have somebody to speak for them, then dictatorship sets in. And now to the demonstrations witnessed in Nandi, when Alfred Keter was kidnapped, that also proves that the ground in the college Rift Valley is not behind William Ruto per se. William Ruto is losing support even in his backyard. And that only means he is getting more and more unpopular as time goes by. His own people, the Kalenjins, are now coming out to protest against him. There is a problem here, ladies and gentlemen. Ruto is making blunders after blunders. It's high time he listens to the people. In Narok, he was chased away and badly heckled. And we are also being told that he sneaked into a church. Ruto has been always hyping these church activities. But today, he sneaked into a church, and after the church, as he was leaving, he was being heckled. That also means that Kenyans, irrespective of their ethnic or political affiliations, are tired of a William Ruto school. And the only thing they are now demanding is for William Ruto to resign. If you look at all those you are seeing clearly how unpopular William Ruto has become. Across the country, he has become very, very unpopular. And that's a fact. So he better listen to the people and he should do what the people are saying. Failure to that, then I'm seeing the situation only but going to worsen. Kenyans are not going to back down until William Ruto do what they want. The entire government should resign. That's what Kenyans are pushing for. They are tired, fed up of Ruto and his team. And as I conclude, and this is something I keep on repeating in my videos, for Kenyans to get it very well. If you reject Ruto, reject all MPs, senators, governors, MCs, who are supporting him. These are the people helping him in oppressing Kenyans. So reject Ruto, reject Rigadi, and all their leaders. If Kenyans do that, then they'll get their ultimate victory. But hating William Ruto and giving some of these MP supporting him votes, then it's a zero-sum kind of a game. Hate Ruto and hate all these members of parliament who are supporting him. And now my plea to Western and to Kambani, and also largely across the country, any member of parliament supporting Ruto, that should be rejected. And maybe it's now high time as Kenyans we agree that any leader supporting Ruto, that's a leader who we are all going to reject. Kenyans have suffered enough Several Kenyans have been killed, and the only way we can condole those who have been killed is by rejecting any leader, leader supporting Ruto, or any leader who voted for yes. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.